I'm Peter Bermel. I'm the Elmore Associate Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering here at Purdue. Yeah, so semiconductors are the materials uh, like silicon that go into chips. And then I think the distinction between microchips and microelectronics is microchips are very small chips. Uh, so this has some overlap with microelectronics, but microelectronics also includes things like field programmable gate arrays that can be fairly large actually, and are also put on boards. So microelectronics are small electronic circuits that perform various functions, and generally there are three types. Uh, there are application-specific integrated circuits, called ASICs for short, and then there are field programmable gate arrays, or FPGAs, and then there are systems on chip, or SOCs. They're quite essential, so they're used in a wide and growing number of items that you interact with every day. And of course, most people nowadays have smartphones, so that's like the first thing you think of. But you also have other kind of computing resources that back up your smartphones, uh, that kind of drive the infrastructure between uh, communication, uh, phone calls, etc. cetera. Uh, but in recent years, we've also seen a growth in use of microchips for things like your car. And so a lot of cars are now smart cars because they have a lot of microchips running different features of your vehicle. And of course, like if you take a flight, um, most flights have tons of uh, so-called avionics, which are aircraft-specific microelectronics. Uh, they're also very critical to national security because they underpin the integrity of everything that uh, Department of Defense is trying to do. And so some specific examples uh, where DOD really needs uh, things like microelectronics include GPS, so global posi positioning system requires uh, the ability to locate yourself anywhere in the world very efficiently and accurately. Uh, another example is communications, being able to be in touch with people no matter where you are uh, on the earth is very important uh, to kind of maintain safety and security uh, for everybody. Um, and of course, there are many other uh, vehicles that also use electronics, just like in the civilian sector. Yeah, so I expect that a lot of areas will see growth in microelectronics, but especially entertainment and uh, communications and uh, collaboration uh, th for uh, work, especially since a lot of people are now working in virtual or hybrid environments. This is going to be a continued area of growth. And having uh, you know, higher bandwidth uh, for communications will enable a lot more features.